Hey, Mark here. Third lesson in the series of fundamentals for pro bass players. What you need to have and work on on a regular basis and that will help expand everything you're doing, give clarity. We talked about the right hand, we talked about fingerboard harmony with the left hand, positioning the fingers in the right place, thinking ahead, always knowing where you're going with the fingers, at the same time learning where the notes are, of course, and then being able to see all of that on the different strings. So in the end, you're actually seeing the same scale running across the four strings. Now what we're going to do is we're going to bring the two together, the two events together, and we are going to do everything within time. We're going to do the first one, and back on the metronome, always keep the metronome at a tempo that's comfortable for you. This is really, really important. Okay, and then we start again. Okay. And all the time we're just playing along with the metronome. Make sure you're breathing, same stuff, nothing's changed. Okay, now we're going to move, I'll we'll go to a different scale. Last time we did C major, let's go to D major. D major has two sharps, F sharp and C sharp. So every time I come to F sharp or C sharp, that's what I need to play instead of F or C on the string. Maybe I'll move string, I'll go to the A string, just to make it a little different. Okay, making sure that I'm in tempo, feeling good, my hand is relaxed. And now every four beats, you know, we're gonna change string. So we think ahead and we say, okay, we're in the scale, scale of D major, so I'm gonna be playing from A, up to A on the octave, okay? I'm thinking, what will my next nine notes be? A, B, C sharp, D, E, F sharp, G, A, and back again. And thinking ahead, okay, so I start A, two, three, four, B, two, saying the notes always, C sharp, thinking ahead to the D with my pinky, D, Going up to E with my first finger, E, two, going up to F sharp, F sharp, and always know where I am, G, okay, and the A. Now you heard the G there, let's sit on that for a while. It sounds unusual, that's because we're in the scale of D major. If it was A major, it would sound like this, but we're not, we're sticking with the D major always, so it's over here, and then we carry on going back. G to F sharp, two, three, four, E, two, three, four, D, two, three, four. I could have used my pinky as well. If I make a mistake like that, then I just change fingers. Think about it. Three, four, C, two. Oh, made a mistake. Okay, I say I made a mistake. I go, okay, I should have been using my second finger, my third finger, sorry. So I go back again to the D. Here I go and I do it again. So I un clear up that mistake in my neuron pathway. And I say, oh, made a mistake. Should be going from D to C sharp with my th third finger. D, two, three, four. C sharp, two, three, four. B, two, three, four. A. Turn off the metronome a second. So you see, when I make a mistake, I go back, I recognize it, I don't get upset. My right hand all the time working. I'm saying the name of the notes. I'm recognizing where the notes are. I'm doing it on all the strings up and down. Now, we're gonna upgrade a little bit and start to get our right hand rhythm going in a little bit more of a complicated way. And now the fun really begins because we're gonna put the metronome beat, here it is, and it's gonna represent the two and the four, the second beat and the fourth beat of the bar. The way we do this, and you can practice this, is we hear the beat and we go in between the beat. A one, a two, a one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Now, I suggest you start by just changing again like the original exercise when you're comfortable. I'll go to the D string, uh, G string, so we're in D beat scale of D major and I'm going to do it one time, sum up and then we'll uh, summarize all these exercises in another video. Here we go. So it's a one, a two, a one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, A, two, three, four, B, two, three, four, C sharp, two, three, four, D, E, thinking ahead always, F sharp and to the G. 
now I'm really improving my rhythm as you can see, okay? I'm treating the metronome like a two and four, like the snare drum on a drum kit. And I go back. So, I hope that, you know, gives you some stuff to think about. I'll summarize in another video. Mark checking out, play the bass, only good stuff, have an amazing life. Mm -hmm.